people have gone mad trying to understand mathematical infinity, but this video puts forward the idea that we have mathematical infinity because we have a potential infinity of future possibilities and opportunities that forms the uncertainty of everyday life. This can be explained by physics because in this theory time and space are emergent properties formed by a physical process of continuous energy exchange with the future continuously coming into existence light photon by light photon. Therefore quantum mechanics represents the physics of time as a physical process the spontaneous absorption and emission of light represented by the quantum wave particle function or probability function forms the uncertainty known as Heisenberg's uncertainty principle. This represents the same uncertainty we have with any future event. The wave particle duality of light is continuously forming a blank canvas that we can interact with, turning the possible into the actual. This is what we are seeing when we see an artist at work. We are seeing new light photon oscillations or vibrations coming into existence relative to the energy and momentum of the artist. In this theory, the individual is an interactive part of creation, and because the photon is also the carrier of the electromagnetic force, electrical potential is linked to our future potential, with electrical activity in the brain representing the most advanced part of this universal process. Therefore, conscious thought is always in the moment of now, with a continuous stream of thoughts and ideas that can comprehend this process as time, as an interactive process of continuous creation with a potential future infinity of possibilities. This theory can explain the paradoxes of infinity because we have a process of continuous creation that we see and feel as time but has the geometry of space-time. A mathematician will interact with this universal process, continuously forming his or her own space-time geometry. Therefore, it is only logical that he will be able to divide that geometry into infinitely smaller parts as time unfolds. The universe is dynamic and expanding, and this forms the infinities of human mathematics. In this diagram, we have infinity between the whole numbers 1 and 2. The finite part of this series can be made as close as you like to the whole number 2, but will never actually reach it. This infinity between each whole number must represent something fundamental in the structure of our universe. Aristotle's idea of something being potentially infinite went some way to explaining this, but only a deeper understanding of time as a continuous process forming the geometry of space-time with a potential infinity of future events can give us a total explanation. The mathematician George Cantor found a structure to infinity. He found that you could build up a never-ending tower of larger and larger infinities from below but he realized that infinity could not be approached from above. The more we depart from zero and approach greater and greater numbers, the more we depart from infinity. This makes logical sense in this theory. The zero represents zero time, or t equals zero, the moment of now, formed by light interacting with matter. The zero represents an infinite branching point with the positive numbers marching off, forming a potential future, with a square of probability. The negative numbers, receding towards a limitless past, representing the positive and negative of electromagnetic waves. This whole process can be seen as a process of spherical symmetry forming and breaking. There is an infinite number of line symmetries within a sphere, 
and also an infinite number of rotational symmetries. This is where the infinities come from that we find in mathematics and this process also forms the potential infinity of possibilities and opportunities of everyday life. It would be logical if time was formed by this process that represents a spontaneous absorption and emission of light that time would expand out in every direction in three-dimensional space with the expansion of the universe but this is not what we observe time is two-dimensional with a past and future and a timeline forming an arrow of time that modern physics cannot explain this line symmetry is formed because when the light comes in contact with matter it forms a photon-electron coupling forming the magnetic moment or dipole moment this forms matter-antimatter -matter annihilation in just one direction forming the arrow of time within that reference frame when the spherical symmetry is broken it forms spiral symmetry forming the imperfect spiral symmetry that is visible in nature as the Fibonacci spiral because the process is universal intelligent life will form its own broken symmetry out of this process forming its own future relative to its energy and momentum of its own actions in this theory creation is truly in the hand and eye of the beholder please subscribe and rate it will help in the promotion of this theory that changes our view of the universe and our place within it